So here's a quick tip. It mainly has to do with cutting into your toner cartridge to refill it for the first time. So the problem is that sometimes it leaks toner. It's only done it like twice. Uh, normally it functions fine, but when it does leak, that is a, a problem. And uh, the problem is in the way the port was cut into the toner cartridge. As we can see, as we zoom in, there is very little space between that wall and the cut. Also, if we see on this area, the cut is not even. It goes up, which makes the space in between the wall and the cut even smaller. The next thing to note is that there is a small wall that was created or, or a lip that was created when the cut was being made. Now because of the small space between the wall and the cut, and this small little wall or lip that comes up, and precisely around this area is where the toner leaks. On this next graphic here, you can see the size of the port. So the first thing I'm going to mention is what uh, I would do different if I were to cut into this toner cartridge for the first time. So number one, I would cut lower. This way that would give me more surface area for the tape to make it seal. The port is not that big, so then what I still need to explore or to find out. Alright guys, a reminder to hit the like button and the get notified button. Just in case we make a video that you actually like. And definitely the subscribe button and share this video. Okay, let's get back to the video. Is if there is material, enough material there to be cut off from the bottom. This way, port size is going to remain the same. It's just going to be lowered a couple of centimeters. Next, I will talk about solutions since the port is already made. So one solution is if we look onto the port, what we can do here is we can shave off that little wall so that it doesn't lift the tape up. That will give it more surface area for the tape to seal. That will be the first solution. If your printer does not want to print, you can check out the video in the description below. A very easy fix. You can give that a try. It's worth it. The next step would be to make sure that everything is leveled. And this will definitely give you more surface area create a seal around that port. Now another thought that came to mind is maybe that a 90 degree wall that goes all the way across on the cartridge, maybe it's needed by the printer itself. The solution really lies on leveling the edges of the port to where they are flat with the other area. Also, something very important in a situation like this, in a particular situation like this, is the placement of the tape. Normally, I would place the tape from the bottom going up. And that is the wrong way of doing it, because that creates a space between the corner of that 90 degree angle. The best way to do it, and I tried it this time, and I think it's going to be fine, I don't think it's going to leak anymore. So the best way to place the tape is not from the bottom going up, but rather from the top going down. You place the tape right on the top, and then slowly roll it down onto that 90 degree angle. Make sure, either with your nail or with a tool, to make sure that it rolls down into that corner. And from there, you roll it down towards the bottom. And that's how I did it this time. And it looks like it's sealed completely. But I can still see that the little wall, the little lip that was created, that makes it uneven. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.